My name is Nishrat Noor, and this is Veiled. You are eight, far shorter than the adults on either side of you. The air from the fan brings to you the sweet scents of jasmine and frankincense emanating from the women in front of you. The man has begun the call to prayer, his melodious voice rising and falling. You stand on your tiptoes and peer over into the men's side. You meet your father's eyes and wave as he furrows his thick brow and chuckles at your overzealousness. You feel a tug on your sleeve and turn to face an old woman whose stern gaze forces you into a standstill. She whispers, voice wrapped in a thick accent, babes, you've got to stand still. We're about to start praying. You are 11. The heat from the Florida sun rolls over you in waves and you sit in the shade with a friend. She furtively looks to you and asks, didn't you get hot in that? You shake your head no and tell her that you've gotten used to the heat. You're lying, of course. You are 14. Your friend waggles her eyebrows, eyes on the intricately wrapped blue scarf on your head. You know what she has in mind and quickly blanch. You couldn't possibly go through with it. Besides, what if your parents catch you in the act? You'd be neatly packaged, perhaps with a jar of pickled mangoes and a letter of disownment, and promptly sent off to Bangladesh, where you would live a life of desolation and bad Wi-Fi. <laughs> Your friend hardly blinks, and you detect a slight exasperation in her stoic expression. Excuses, she simply states. You're making excuses for something you've wanted to do all year, and this is your only chance. And suddenly, you feel suffocated by the fabric. You are 17. You are not that much shorter than the adults on either side of you. The air from the fan brings to you those sweet, familiar scents. You gaze at the Muslim men and women who have gathered before you and feel a swelling pride. Your scarf is no longer your cell. The man begins the call to prayer. You close your eyes and raise your face to the ceiling. You sense movement beside you and feel a slight tug on your sleeve. She whispers, voice wrapped in a thick accent, Babes, I'm glad you've learned to stand still. <laughs>